So I'm heading over the, this morning. I'm gonna do some morning technical work with Sam and Rachel. <laughs> Yesterday I got cleared to purchase a new facility, hopefully the closing's in, in March, early March. So we're moving into about a 9,500 square foot gym. Gonna have 10 to 12 uh, platforms, gonna have a big open area for sports performance and stuff. So I'm gonna go over there after morning training so we can check out the facility and try and line up where we want everything to be. But in the meantime, heading over, Gonna be a good morning at training. Sam and I were, were talking a lot about some, some technical aspects. He's taking just a little bit longer with some with some technique work than Rachel has. Rachel's picked up a lot of a lot of stuff pretty quickly. Sam's got a lot of quirky stuff in his throw already, so it's it's been a little bit more difficult, but he's really starting to figure out how to finish the way I want him to finish. So should be fun. I think the season's gonna be great, man. We just got the, the USATF start the qualifiers 6280 I think in 1775 even though it's one flight of 18 which is ridiculous but it's gonna be a fun fun time prepping for that that big meet journey's always rolling good Anton just chilling eye boogers and all <laughs> I forgot DJ's not lifting today. He's got a he's got a max out tomorrow. 155, 195. You heard it here first. <laughs> so he's got to start warming up today because he takes fucking three hours to do his warm up like a little bee. Sam graduated from Penn. And he just asked me if I'd rather fight 40 coyotes or one, or one lion. There's a correct answer. <laughs> and it doesn't start with an L. <laughs> Alright, would you rather keep in mind how vicious this animal is? Would you rather fight 25 dog-sized hippos <laughs> or one hippo-sized dog? One hippo-sized dog? Yeah, I think that's yeah. right. That's not even fucking hard. Okay, okay, what well, about 10 dog-sized, like, like, not like husky, like, like a beagle. <laughs> <laughs> like 25. Still the dog, dude, hippos are brutal. Dakota just admitted that he believes <laughs> Yeti is real. Wait, he is Yeti. He's a relative. He's a close relative to the Yeti, Mr. Squatch. Sam's stupid and doesn't believe that alternative history is real. Machu Picchu. Was, no, Machu Picchu is a real thing. Yeah, but Machu Picchu was made with by an advanced civilization. An advanced civilization made Machu Picchu. Not some cokeheads that fucking put rock on their back and went up there. They had advanced fucking tools. Yeah, alien ships. DK believes Machu Picchu and Stonehenge was made by aliens. <laughs> Morning is cold. Good throwing session. Good technical work. I forgot DJ's not lifting this morning because he's got to max out tomorrow at this uh, at a special event. And I benched 405 for eight, baby. Now we're going over to the new gym. Check it out. Well, this really ruined the vlog entry. Here's the uh, here's the place though from the outside. It's a really nice gated community. So I'm hoping over here is where all the shot throwing areas will go. And then there's 9,000 square feet of swole property to lift a ton of weight. The swole mill right there. This is the best stand at the market. All organic. Raw 
butter, organic chicken wings, hot dogs, kombucha. Good day at the market. That's how you do veggie burgers. You make chicken veggie burgers, so they're not actually veggie burgers because humans eat meat. Dakota, what do you think about your adventure to the farmer's market? <laughs> so we went to the market, got four and a half pounds of wings, whole bunch of, I got egg sandwich, quesadilla, gluten-free bread, kombucha, raw butter. Dude, the market's so good. <laughs> DJ's, DJ's here loading up, loading up the Springer with some earth-fed muscle. We got a wholesaler picking up at the barn. We're stopping by our drop shipper to pick up a whole bunch of product. We're moving it, baby. Here comes Sam. What is today at two? 30 minutes late. We've had two o'clock practices every Friday for the last fucking nine weeks. No, no, last week we went to Widener. But you sent a text saying, is this a good schedule? No way. I'll, I'll show you the time. <laughs> Rachel proved me wrong. I'm not apologizing though. Somehow I'm still right. Because Rachel and I were here and Sam wasn't. What's up throwing? Holy shit, it's cold. Now it's time to max. People in the dojo get small tattoos for Dan Marone. I get a whole fucking side piece, motherfucker. <laughs>
Okay, so the afternoon went pretty well. Good throwing session. Rachel finished up her program, so now we're gonna start setting her up for a pretty tough one. That next program is gonna be pretty brutal. Um, dude, Haley doubled 67 in snatch, went right to clean and jerk, double 80, double 83, double 85, double 88, double clean on 90, missed the second jerk on 90. Two cleans at 90, weighing 48 and a half at her age is freaking insane. It was awesome, dude. It's really, really legit, really legit. Emma didn't lift great. Maddie lifted okay. She's new, so it's, it's interesting to see, like, when she doesn't lift, when she doesn't hit a PR, she's at that point now where it's like, she expects a PR all the time. So it is cool though that she's slowly figuring out that it's not gonna happen all the time. Uh, Dale lifted okay, but he's gotta, I'm gonna get him on a new a new block heading into juniors now, we're three weeks out. So those guys, you know, Jake did okay. He's helping me do a seminar tomorrow, so I didn't want him to go crazy, but he still put up 250 total. Uh, Kate Ware had a back problem for a year and she's really starting to come back now her snatch is still a little bit inconsistent in her catch position but she clean jerked 88 she cleaned 90 almost jerked it so i'm really really hoping that she she can really keep keep things rolling because dude she works her ass off and she deserves it I'm trying to think if there's anything else that really stands out but all in all it was a it was a really good session uh, i'm excited for the new building we're going to be closing march 15th so that'll be exciting to get into a new building where we've got more platforms and and people can be a little more focused on, on things technically. There's a little bit less jockeying around with bars. We've only got three platforms, so excited for that. It'll be awesome because we're going to have a wing just for weightlifting and then a whole section for sports performance. So keep your eyes out for that March 15th. And then follow me on on Instagram. It's at GarageStrength on Twitter at Garage Strength on Facebook, Garage Strength Farm online, www.garagestrength.com. You can order uh, training programs off my website. And then earthfedmuscle.com for the best protein and the best supplements in the world. No joke, no flow agents in any of their pills. Our pills, of course, part owner. But anyway, share this vlog. Tell the world how awesome Garage Strength and Earth Fed Muscle is, but Tell everybody, garage strength is the place to be. Until next time, peace.